bed, don't be shy Jolene can't wait to meet you For a trailer park Christmas The trailer park way With a brand new recipe Every day Sending videos from her trailer she is Jolene Sugar Baker. She is Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays the Trailer Park trailer way. Park Merry way. Trailer Park Christmas. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Hooray! Hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2017, where I show you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. Well, I'm so excited today because I get letters often, Jolene, I need a quick and easy dish that I can fix for my family. Well, today's dish is ground beef stew, and you can download the calendar at my website, trailerparkchristmas.com, to follow along. But today's recipe, ground beef stew, is a certainly easy dish that, you know, that some of that pricier meat, it, well, I don't know, that ground beef, sometimes they charge like $8 for it, so whenever they don't charge that much, this will be a great dish to do. But it uses ground beef in place of the expensive stew meat, and it still has the same great vegetables and the same great taste. And I'm going to show you how to make my ground beef stew up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2017. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my ground beef stew is really simple, and I've got a pound of ground beef here in a big old bowl that I can brown it in. Now, this works because it saves money on the stew beef, but sometimes they think that ground beef costs like $8. I don't know who's pricing that, but I'm going to brown this up with about a half teaspoon of salt here and about a fourth teaspoon of pepper, and I've got some ground pepper here, and I'm just going to brown that right on in there, and we're going to brown this and get this going, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that you have your ground beef browned up, you're going to add two potatoes that you have peeled and diced up to about one-fourth cubes, just like that, and I have three carrots that I have chopped up, and I have dumped that in there, too. I like to give it a little sprinkle of garlic powder, too, to kick it up a notch, and then I have taken a small onion and kind of made eight pieces of that. We're going to dump that in there. And then we need some beef broth. Now, you can make your own, but I've got the store-bought kind. And I'm going to pour about 14 ounces of that in here. Just like that. There we go. And that's going to bring back up to a boil here. And let me get that back up to a boil, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that we got it back up to boiling, we're going to turn down the heat and we are going to simmer it for about 15 to 20 minutes. So, set your timer. Okay, that has simmered for about 15 minutes with the lid on. Now we're going to add a small can of mushrooms to it. And you don't have to add these if you don't like that yet. And I've got a 14 and a half can of of diced tomatoes that are going to go right on in there just like that and I've got one small zucchini that I've chopped up that I'm just going to dump on in there and then just to give it a little bit more spice I've got a half teaspoon of thyme that I'm just going to sprinkle on in there just like that and to really give it a little kick is I'm going to add about a tablespoon of well, this is hard. I don't know what people... Worcester, Worcestershire salt. It's this stuff. I don't know what that is. Whatever you call it. Right on in there. And we're going to simmer this up just a little bit more here. Probably about, I don't know, 5 or 10 minutes. We'll check on it. And I'll be back with you in just a moment. I'm going to put the lid back on it. Okay, that has simmered for about 5 to 10 minutes. And now what we're going to do is I took two tablespoons of all-purpose flour 
and this is one fourth cup of water and we're gonna start pouring this in here and we're gonna mix it together and it's gonna start thickening up so let me go ahead and get that started there we go and now we're just gonna simmer this up until it gets thick and then it'll be ready to serve. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. And there you have it, my ground beef stew. And look at that. With those vegetables, it looks like it cooked all day with the carrots and the zucchini and the mushrooms and the onions and we use the ground beef today to save some money on the actual um stew meat because that could be so expensive but i'm gonna taste a little bit here get a little bit of all that look at that the carrot and the onion and i just can't wait we put the pepper and the garlic in it wow that tastes like stew that was made in like a crock pot or something that was made all day. It has the wonderful home style taste of stew and this is just great and that was just fixed in a jiffy. Mmm, I hope you get a chance to make this ground beef stew. It is so good. Wow, that was a great recipe today, the ground beef stew. That will certainly cut your budget, and it's something that you can put together real quick in a hurry on a crazy night that you may be running around shopping or getting ready for the holidays. Speaking of the holidays, Trailer Park Christmas is for everyone. These recipes can be used pretty much any time of year or even on your holiday too, except you might have to change some things out. Speaking of which, leave a comment of how you would change things out on my recipes. I'd love to hear about it, and I'd love to hear about your holiday too and how you celebrate. Food is what I really like, and I'd love to hear about special traditions or special food you may be eating during your holiday. I love you all, and I've got more recipes throughout this week because I see tomorrow that I'm going to show you how to make a gift in a jar, and it's going to be a great gift that you can put together in a hurry. I love spending the holidays with you, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out for that